I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Starlink Battle for Atlas. This is a spaceship flying game that uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, also had a toy component to it. Like you could buy a starship and add parts to it and it affected the starship in the game. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, I got this game because Ubisoft gave it away at the beginning of the pandemic. They gave away a few games and I think this was one of them. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. And it's going to take a while to load because I don't know why. It's just very intensive or something. Alright. Normal. And uh, I also think there was a bit of a crossover with this game and Star Fox. At least I think one of the ships you could buy physically was... Uh, the R-Wing from Star Fox. So we got a bunch of characters here. They have special abilities. All these things that are showing up here came with the game. Um, included DLC. <sighs> Unlockable characters over here. Um, I'm just going to go with the default character, because why not? I don't really know much about the game. We played about an hour of it. Mason. All right. And then, option of ships. Performance class, that's actually pretty cool. Ultra heavy, light, medium. Uh, I kind of like that. It's way faster, it doesn't have nearly as much defense though. Yeah, let's just go with the default. With the whole pod racing, whatever. And we get to change our loadout. And you can change the loadout of your ship on the fly. Uh, we're just going to add, I don't know, a Gatling cannon on one side and. Frost missiles on the other, sure, why not? Is that, is that not an option? There we go, frost missiles. Gotta buy that one. And, okay, what else do we have here? I guess I get to mod the weapon here. Uh, whatever. Um, increased ammo. This is better than this one. Yeah, whatever, we'll pop that one in. Pop that one in. Go back. Have this one. Mod it. More ammo, sure. Nope. It's already taken up by another... the other slot, so we'll have to figure something else out here. Okay, that one. And we don't have another one there. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Mod the ship and weapons. I don't know. I'm not even really gonna bother reading stuff. Uh, speed and handling, or... More energy. Let's go more energy. We got here deflection armor. That's fun. Champion armor. Okay. And then that. All right. I think I'm loaded out. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative. <sighs> Aboard the mothership, let's just go. SS Unicycle. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm not gonna change that. Chase, Levi. One of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> Scan 
Hands off, St. Grad. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. that the alien language also has 26 letters. Sensitive types. The English alphabet. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox, we're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Okay. racing in space. At least that's what my ship looks like. Okay, guys, they're coming in hot, so stay frosty and bring that delivery home. Okay, I got this. Shade, what's your status? Single. Everybody here has got leaf and lizard brains. I'm Ned. How are you holding up? I'm still alive, aren't I? Good. St. Graham's got another minute on the reactor. Get ready to wrap it up. All right. Got him. Yeah! I think I got him. Keep it up. So the, uh, the weaponry that I've got loaded no, does no, actually no. matter. Not so much right now. But uh, there are later hey, elemental hey. enemies. So having uh, the, the, the variety of weaponry actually matters. Hey, nice work, new kid. Thanks. Saint Grand, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship! The reactor's been breached! On our way. Just one more left. It seems like the opposite of something you'd want to do. Saint Grand. Like, in most sci-fi, when the reactor is breached, that means the ship's gonna blow. It doesn't seem like you'd want to come back. Take him with us.
no, no, no! Mason, I'm alive. Where are you? I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots picked up. Ah, uh, there's too much interference. Pilot ship online. All systems on reserve power. Sage, I need to get back to the Equinox. Get a scan up. Negative. Equinox Nova depleted. All long-range communications disrupted. What? Nova depleted? I guess I gotta find it myself then. Got a few things to destroy here. So it's got a, a universal ship system where it is both a hovercraft on the ground and you can go up into space. And I don't know if I have the ability right now, but eventually I can go sort of atmospheric um, and fly over the terrain without being on ground level, which is kind of fun. I guess at least visually the game kind of reminds me of No Man's Sky. What in the... Enemy analysis complete. Recommend short-range weaponry. Alright. See, so here's the opportunity for me to swap out weapons. Um, recommends flamethrower, but I'm not too worried about it. Just go ahead and pull these guys up. Fun stuff. Looks like a way out. Yes, the Equinox. Oh, come on. Enemy analysis complete. Right. Recommend elemental combination. Hey, I happen to have that. I happen to have those exact weapons. So, the, uh, the elemental weaponry is not only good for the enemy types, but there's also, like, crystals yeah. and other objects in the game. And uh, some of those places you can only get through if you've got the right element. Right? It's okay. We're all here. Oh man, that is such great news. <sighs> okay, let's get moving. St. Grant's still out there. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grant also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. What? We can't just stay here. There's gotta be something we can do. Maybe there is. Check your map. There's your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. Sure. Okay, you guys keep working on repairs. I'll go find help. Be careful. We don't know what's out there. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots! Killer robots? We've seen what? Drakes and a couple of Cyclopses? Hold up, hold up! What, wait, th this is normal to you people? Get used to it or go home. The Legion's been here way longer than the rest of us. So some of these things... Right. Some of these things you have a towing system? Apparently that's called bone fruit real appetizing. It's not a plant, but a kind of parasite? Ugh. And I guess you can use these materials later for, like, upgrades and stuff. But others you cannot absorb into your ship, and they're basically things you have to carry with you to whatever location. 
kind of interesting, I guess. But also a mechanic, I'm not sure. I'm... Ooh, a radium cell. What was that? Okay, you'll see there's a paw print on my mini map. That is a sandworm. I don't want to be on the ground when that is nearby. So. Does not seem to have done damage. Animals. Whoa, what is that thing? St. Grand and I assembled a database through our contacts in the Pleiades. Scan that animal, and we may get a match. So it's got this really weird scanning process where you have to go around an animal and light up all these little scan gems. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. And, um... I mean, I guess that's alright, but... A lot of the animals are either aggressive or very skittish, and they will run away from you. Which uh, is a little bit of a pain. DNA profile complete. Fauna identified. A razor beak. Hooray! That's called a razor beak. Gotta say, I like the name. Ow. Apparently, their horns are harder than diamond. I'm not sure why I'm plucking the bone fruit right now. But I've got all five plus one organic after five. Ooh. Okay, now these ones I think don't like company. Yeah, that one's going to be a little bit more of a pain. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Oh, okay, so... Note that. There it is. Sand shark worm thing going out there. And... This... Shale Town. Researcher Coltra. Colrita. Life can be tough out here in the field. Why not visit my workshop? I'm sure we can help gear you up. Sounds good. I'll find them. Okay. I've accepted a new mission. It's sort of the opposite of where I need to be going, but sure. Hey, the signal's coming from a kind of building. You think they're friendly? Let's hope so. Go say hi. We'll be here if you need it. Go say hi and blow up their stuff so you can collect it. Found it. Oh, good, you're back. Wait, you're not Thicket. Now, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? Uh, hi. Listen, my name is Mason. Our flagship crashed. We were hoping you had fuel. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, my missing assistant has me all flustered. Uh, you haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No. Maybe we can help each other? I sent Thicket to put down a beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Then I can help you with, uh, fuel, was it? I've got just the thing. Sure. Okay. Dude, you just made friends with an alien! That's like historical! You've got one on like board right now, iguana. dude. Guess all those sci-fi books I read were right. Huh? Iguana? That better be a compliment, fly boy. Oh, yeah. Iguanas are beautiful creatures. Very majestic. Uh-huh. So Dude, you said I need stuff. to clear out an empire. <laughs> Imps, such nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I hear combustion works. So, fire? I think we can handle that. You're collecting a bunch of stuff. Okay. Red dots on my screen. Enemies nearby. I think they know me, too. Yeah, they do. Thermal shock bonus because I used the cold and then hot. That's nice. It's not where we're going though. Although, wait a minute. So, there's this thing where these locations can be recovered. 
Okay, see so a heat cache there. I need cold weaponry to make that worthwhile. Shoot, did that thing disappear? But, uh, yeah, if you, if you manage to clear some of these places out... Okay, this one I'm gonna have to take back. Uh, I'm gonna drop it for right now. Uh, but if you clear some of these places out, they do get recovered. Radium cell. Alright. Cold canister. I'll pick this up, but it's a throwable item by the look of it. Hello? Analysis. The Nova may be more easily dislodged if targeted with cold weaponry. Yeah, yeah. That's not the one I'm after right now, though. And where is. Oof. Oof. Um, there's a bunch of crap up here. I'm looking for that orange marker on my screen. Got a new mod. Is it that? Must be that. Oh boy. up whatever that was. So those are caches then. I should probably collect them. Oh wait, I want that drill bit. Uh, looks like it's up there. So I'm kind of on the fence about... Well, those both must be up there together. About doing a full series of this. Inventory is full. <sighs> now can I see my inventory? You'd think it'd be loadout. Collection? Eh, yeah, whatever. Well, crap, because I think I only needed one more of these. Wait a minute, I. Five out of five. Okay, so I've got. Okay, it's up there in the top left. Anyway, let's do this mission. Um, I'm considering doing this as a six-pack series and only doing six episodes of it. But we'll see. Ooh. It's a big boy. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Where's that sand shark? Anyway, we need to get going. Look at the size of that tower. I'm getting the feeling there's a lot we don't know about Atlas. Enemy analysis complete. Structural weakness identified. Nullifier, huh? Let's try that, I shall we? Let's try... So not this one. Vortex launcher? Uh... You know what? Let's just go with what I've got. Wish me luck. I think I made him mad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello, 
bit of distance between me and here. Get off. Too many of them. Just run them over, that's fine. There's a ton of them still. Ah, okay. That's what it keeps telling me. It keeps telling me to use my shield so I can ram them. Alright. Alright. The hive's been destroyed. Ah, bad. wonderful. No hive, no imps. Just the way I like it. I have some electrum waiting here for you, as promised. Oh. Uh, actually, our ship takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. Or more specifically, New Jersey. Hmm. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. Interesting. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. There's the Legion Extractor. Looks like that's our target. Alright. What is this, though? Word of warning. Extractors are Legion machines. Before my time, they were easy to salvage. But since the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're uh, competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. Here is a sandstorm. Look at that storm. Ah, yes. The extractor should be just inside. As well as surrounded by enemies. Updated. Enemy analysis complete. Siege weaponry recommended. Imploder, huh? Alright, I'll try the imploder. I'll try the imploder since I know I've got one of those. I also want to... Ooh, that is not what I wanted, but what is this? Uh, I have no points, so let's not do that. I want to... Mod... The weapon, there we go. we got two things unequipable right now. Can't equip that. Lowers energy cost. Guess that's good. What do we got here? Plus 50 electrum from ships and legion destroyed with this weapon. Or 10 range or 10% experience. Uh, so I'm guessing that's electrum? We'll go with that, sure, why not. Alright, here we go. That thing is massive. You sure this is a good idea? It's the only idea we got. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Aim for the red power cells. Once those are down, the extractor's core will be exposed. The nodes down. That's it. The nodes are disabled. That's Close it. Now's your chance to hit the extractor. And dodge those lasers. Time it right, and you can jump over the laser beams. Okay. Dang it. Not good. Got with my Gatling gun charge here for a bit. Are reactivating. You'll have to disable them before you can damage the extractor. You know, I do kind of like the uh, 
that gun. You can just sit something there that'll, that'll uh, take damage over time. It's actually really, really useful. Things. Don't let those extractor nodes take you down. Dodge them or find cover. It does seem to have limited use, though. You gotta charge it up quite a bit. Okay. in the center of the extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back. Just not too hard. Got it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity, you could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well, we're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grand knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grand. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My stars! Why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see. Fascinating. I love the hero naivety. Just, you know, <laughs> this this uh, secret that this guy that we were with has the ability to create a, apparently a very powerful power source that is otherwise rare in the universe and he just tells this guy that yeah, you know, we know a guy. Seems like there's another one of those extractors or nodes or whatever that is over there on the left. Next upgrade, I think I need more booster fuel. What was that? What is... We need to put this back on here. Thankfully, it seems to keep the modifications. Uh, what about this one? This one. 10% increase, sure. Here. 
Oh yeah. Let's go take a detour for a moment here. Pioneer wreckage. No, we won't worry about that just Whoa. yet. What is that thing? Is this the same? I can't tell if it's the Partial same as that giant complete. one. Scan more it specimens is. to complete the DNA profile. But don't run into them. That might make them hostile. DNA profile complete. Fauna identified. Okay. I do not know the purpose of this. A nomadon. A mighty creature. Apparently, it collects dew on its back to survive in the desert heat. Shoot, you know what? If I could remember where that... that one location is... I think I've passed it. I think it might have been this. So I'm coming back to it by the looks of it. I think. Unless it was up there. I think it might be this. Anyway, there was the that location that had that uh, fuel cell whatever thing I could have grabbed with me. Now they're back. Right, it was the piece of Nova. Oh, jeez, look at this, though. They've all respawned. Oh, you know what? Seems like an incredibly precarious way to do this, though, just using the vehicle as a hovercraft. But fortunately, I seem to be immune otherwise to damage. Alright. Let's grab this and let's see if we can take this back to the way station. I don't know how else to convert these things. Shh. Inventory is full of those, of course it is. Well, I'm guessing that the game is going to be very forgiving, and a lot of that, what is that? Proximity alert. Outlaw fortifications detected. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. By where? Who? Where? What? Thank you, friend. I would have been fauna fertilizer without your help. These guys. Um. Oh, you're back. Oh, look at this. So we could. Wow. For each one of these, we bring back. For me? Why? Thank you. This should prove quite useful. Here's the core. Is that everything you need? Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. A replacement? What do you mean? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova no less. 
Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. Uh, you'll have to meet the team and make sure everyone's on board. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. Okay, everyone. I got the Nova. And I think I might have made a friend. Really? Guess it doesn't hurt. Well, nice work. See you soon. Okay, but before we go, I saw that there were more oh, missions. Back. Bone fruit. I can turn all the bone fruit in here. Um, did you mistake us for a different outpost? Are you suffering from space madness? <laughs> Why the hell are you dropping this off here? Okay, so I don't know what exactly we gain by increasing the outposts, or updating the outposts, but it's something to do anyway. Almost there. Good. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find St. Grant. That's right! Yeah, unless he's... you know... Levi? What the heck? What? I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. I don't know that that's necessarily the worry here. Hey, I'm here. So how do I transfer the Nova? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Equinox. Core systems. Core systems. Restore a spin drive. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But if Mason's calculations are right, should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Hit it, Chase. Pretty tough ship. Flight Survived impact. Restored. That's your cue. Meet us in orbit and we'll go over the next steps. Okay. We're coming, St. Grant. Okay, well. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. We also do not appear to be alone out here. Starlink database. There we go, that's a lot faster. Saw this moment many years ago. The wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova? When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, 
be want Nova. It's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew is lost. You will show me how to make Nova. And you will kneel before your mortal. Thanks, Judge. Listen. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and orders gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. Oh. Levi, come on. Oh. Hold on. I need to show you something. Open your ship's computer. Okay. Each time you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. So orbital strike is my special ability there. Feedback waves amplify the damage dealt by the orbital strike for every target in range. See, I don't know how often I'm going to use that. I probably should get used to using it. Inspires nearby allies, increasing defensive capabilities. Or after causing an elemental combo, deals more damage. Well, I'll go with that since I already know I'm using it. Nice! Thanks for the update. So like I was saying... The imps on Karit and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grant's capture. An interesting theory. But our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector I know. That Haven old-timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great. I'll go talk to him. Wait, 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 wait. I meant you guys are nuts. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grand. They weren't robots. If this guy's got a theory about that, we should hear it. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, go ahead. But I'm warning you, he's a little on the cranky side. You sure that's not just when he's talking to you? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. So oh, I guess we can thing. just bounce back and forth. Back just don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. Thanks. I'll try to be careful. Yeah. Okay. So we're now on to another planet, but it looks like I can come back here. I've got four out of twelve something. I'm not, not really sure what. But, anyway. Uh, I'll end this one here. We'll travel to Haven next time. <laughs>